Good morning Floss Tube. Lisa here at Shady Tree Stitches and Paddock Lane Designs and I'm joining you on this the 28th of August to share with you what I've been up to with my stitching. So thank you for taking the time to join me. Sit back, get your stitching, grab a cuppa and hopefully you like what you see. All right, I've had a very busy week, not so much with stitching, but with stitching related things. As you can see, I am back in my, my little craft room and over on this side, you can see my beautiful display that I prepared for the online needlework marketplace, which has just happened um, this weekend. So it was an online expo for the stitching shops to come to and make purchases. And I'm really grateful that a couple of them did. It's very hard when you're a new designer and no one knows you to get yourself out there. So I took the plunge and enrolled myself in the expo and met some lovely people and um, yeah, getting ready now to do some work to ship off some orders across the globe. Um, so I don't know, you might see an eye that will get in the way, but I have a um, mixture of my new releases and my some of my older releases up there. Anyway, I think I showed them all to you last floss tube, so you don't need to see them again today. But what I have managed to do is while I was sitting here, as well as reorganizing everything, so these boxes here are all prepared full of things for the goodie bags at the Stitching in the Mountains retreat in October um, with Mojo Stitches and I. So I'm you know, getting all, organ all organized for that because that's the next thing that's happening. I managed to get some FFOs done. So the first FFO I managed to make was my beautiful snow angel ornament. And she was very easy to FFO. These ones are this was a Brooks Books, I just had to glue, with fabric glue, on the back, a um, bit, of sticky, bit of felt. So she's looking beautiful with the white behind her. Next time I do these, or A, I won't be using the perforated paper. I don't like stitching on perforated paper, but it did say to use white perforated paper and I only had brown, so I did her on brown and I'd been a little bit disappointed the whole time, but she's looking beautiful. All I need to do now is pin my hanger onto her and she will be fully FFO'd. And the other one I had time to do was this one. And this is the Nativity by um, Country Cottage Needleworks. And I made the Nativity into a little sort of quilted style wall hanging. First one I've done in this exact style. First time I've ever used the interfacing. So it's got just a little bit of rigidity on it. Um, it's iron on interfacing. And so you haven't seen this one for about a year. And it's on a piece of crazy Patek Lane Designs fabric, but I really like it. So two FFOs is not bad for a weekend where I was stuck in my craft room at stupid o'clock. I got up at two and four o'clock every morning to be here to talk to people if they wanted to talk to me, um, which was a pretty good effort. I also have had two finishes since we filmed. Um, the first finish is a model stitch for my new range of promoting Paddock Lane Designs fabrics and Cottage Garden threads. This one only promotes Paddock Lane Designs fabric. This is a piece of um, raspberry and peach cobbler with Blackbird Designs Blackbird on it stitched in DMC 310. So I will be kitting these up to sell as kits with the fabric and the thread ready to go and the pattern obviously. So there's my Blackbird. So that is a, a finish not an FFO yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to do to it. And my other finish, um, which is my fourth finish for this month. So this month caught up on the fact that last month didn't, is my gnome, my June gnome from Cross Stitch for Everyone. This was a free sale and I got all 12 gnomes that I was going to stitch because I was very excited. Um, but in honesty, I think this is the only one I'm going to do. And I didn't even do the rainbow at the top of him because I think he looks awesome as he is. He's on a piece of crafty leany fabric that I got in a colour of the month and he's super cute so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him for finishing but at least he's a finish um other stitching I've been doing is not a lot uh there is another piece that I'm working on that's still in the house so I'll show you that one a bit later in the video but I've been working on getting my reading finished this is another old whip so you can see I did gardening previously got reading and I've got baking and quilting. I'm doing my own color conversion using fancy flosses. 
on a piece of wacky Ada, one of my original wacky trial dies. So I got quite a few stitches done on that as well. Um, so I do have an, one more piece of stitching that I will pop in, um, but I have been just busy working on, on Marketplace stuff. Okay, so I've worked on two more pieces since I filmed, as I said. First one was Winter from Cricut Collection, and you can see I finished all of the T-E-R. So heading towards the finish, all the ends done. Just got to do W-I and half of N. But I'm really pleased with how it's looking. It's on a piece of um, Deep Ocean by Paddock Clean Designs. And in an Ada, so, you know, working my way through these Ada fabrics from before I decided that I didn't like Ada anymore. And the other one that I started working on today, being the 1st of September, is Stitch in Time. And I've been working in the brown. You can see like this brown here. And I've so far done 500 stitches on this page in the brown. I've decided to go back to my extreme cross country because it's a quite a fun experiment that I'm doing with this piece. So that's what I've been doing. Hey, haul. Don't have much for haul. In fact, I just have my beautiful little red pouch. And I thought I'd show you again because I've been showing you this for a while. This is from A Stitch in Time. And this is my Fancy Floss of the Month thread gloves. And I haven't even opened it. It's got really sticky glue on it today. Some people don't like crinkles, I guess because it pops in your headphones. For me, it's an exciting sound of opening something. Lovely. All right, so we're up to letter T in the Gentle Arts. So I must be nearly finished Gentle Arts. Um, up to R in Classic Colour Works. And I'm up to, only up to M in the week's dye works. So that, my friends, is the sum total of my haul. Um, so apart from that, I'm planning to just get back into doing a bit of stitching. I've got a lot of fabric, as you can see there, stuff that I've got to dye for the orders um, for, this, for this week from my regular online orders. So big day of dyeing ahead of me. Anyway. I'll be back in a little while with some more to show you. So to make this even a more weird and haphazard video than it's already been, I've actually found Jenny. Yay! <laughs> so Jenny has nicely joined me to do the start of September challenge chat. So reason being that A, Jenny does some of the challenges and B, why else are you doing the challenge chat with me instead of the regular video, Jenny? Um, because I did very little stitching in August. Yeah, and that's <laughs> so fine. I have, nothing, I have nothing to share. Fair enough. So we'll yeah. catch up with Jenny stitching next month. But... I, I was doing other things. I mean, yes, I know I went on a stitching retreat, but I didn't do a whole lot of stitching. <laughs> no, well, the retreats are for more than just stitching. We know that. Yes. I did some okay. shopping. As you saw, and I did some catching yes. up with people and chatting and meeting new people and learning new things like lazy daisy stitches and yeah, yeah. So that's good. Okay, so we're going to, to go through the monthly challenges that are available on Facebook for you to take in to help get you working through your whips and getting progress. Um, and we'll start with the um, <laughs> I'm tired. Um. We'll start with, of course, the um, the Whip Warriors. I keep trying to say no new starts because my brain still goes there. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. in Whip Warriors, there are a few things happening this month that's a bit different. Um, there is a sampler September. So if you want to work on a sampler, you can jump into the sampler September um, event. It's month long. Starting tomorrow, which is Sunday, the 3rd, is the focus event slash meet, beat the mod min. So always lots of fun. Um and then we have got later in the month, um, I thought I wrote these all down. I did write them all down. I just got to find where I wrote them. We've got the word game, strident cell, color relay, and riff off. So busy September. But wait, there's more. For the full coverage stitches out there, there is a full coverage event that's happening this month called Back to School. And the idea is that you do 1,200 stitches. It's for the big full coverage stitches. So not every event's for everyone, remember. Um, but 
1,200 stitches on each of your full coverage pieces um, to try and pass the different grades. So if you get all the way from like 1 to 12, then extra extra entries or whatever it is that Carl has got in mind for you. So I actually started on one of them today. There is a code word you have to put on. Um, so you need to make sure you put the code word, which is notebook. And I think for that one, it doesn't matter what size, as long as it is full coverage. Correct. So um, I could potentially do my um, um, portrait of antique vines. And yeah. I reckon 1,200 stitches would get me a long way to getting it almost done. Yeah, I probably you probably decided been. to concentrate on that. For, but then, but then it's sampler September, and and I want to start my um, um, Sarah Germani one. Yes. So. You've got choices to do, but that's the whole reason, you know, thing we do is we like to have options for people so that there's something that everyone can participate in. Because remember, participation is all you need to do to be a member of this group, and it's lots of fun. Um, and, of course, the road trip is still going, heading its way to finish uh, its way around American LNSs. So the other thing, though, of course, the month-long categories, which is one of the easiest things to participate in, just put a start and a finish, fitting into any of the categories. And this and I think, month, let A. Yes. So, so that one seems a bit easier. Yeah. Now, Jenny, and for you, if you don't have them, just pass. So we don't take too long if you're struggling. Have, yes, yes. Okay. So an animal or a plant starting with A. Hmm. While you're thinking, I will show you mine. Because I bet you cannot imagine what on earth I would come up with that would have an animal starting with A. So my amazing animal kingdom, yes, <laughs> animal is actually the Arctic wolf. Oh. I was thinking aardvark, I was thinking ants, anteaters, and I came up, or, or and alligators. So, I mean, there, there probably is more than just an Arctic wolf, but I found the Arctic wolf. Anything for you? No. No? That's fine. Um, um, what oh, about... Bad. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Do I have an apple tree? Oh, yeah, that's a good plant. Yes, yeah. yes, I think, I think, I think they're apples. You can pretend they're apples. Um, if you can't tell, Martha probably can't either. <laughs> Come on. Ah, there, full screen. Right, okay, full screen and then share. I think my um, Peaceable Kingdom, I think they're apples. They look like, it looks like a bit like an apple tree, doesn't it? It does. Yep. I think, I think you can get away with saying that's an apple. So you've got to do a start and a finish. Probably about 100 stitches is all you need. So that gives yep. you an excuse to work on it, Jen. Yep, because that one hasn't been done this year yet. I'm, I'm being a bit more flexible now that we're getting towards the end of the year and I have been very good about picking my three whips each month. It means that now that we're getting close to the end, so we're in September, um, I've, I, I don't have enough to do three each month. I'll, I'll run out, which means that I can be a bit more flexible. I need to at least do the ones I haven't done yet, but yeah. if I want to go back and pick some that I have done already, yeah. if it fits in with things, then I can I can look at doing that now. Awesome. Okay, the next one is something you would find at a beach and I'm going to use the Animal Kingdom again and an albatross because mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure one of the birds flying around has got to be an albatross. Yeah. Hmm. What else do you reckon you'd find at the beach? I was actually thinking, um, it's my answer for later, but you would find ants, arms, Uh, well, well, I've I've got various ones with people. Um, yeah. So, um, Peaceable Kingdom that I just showed, um, my Beatrix Potter one, my Stitching Time. They've all got people who've got arms. Yeah. So you could get away with doing it for arms. Um. Yeah. Color. Colour, starting with A. Aqua. Yep. Aqua, aubergine. Ancient something. 
Yep, so I'm actually doing like ancient gold or, or something like that. A, yeah, antique. And I'm actually antique. doing that was, that was the word I was meaning, not ancient. Yes, antique. I know. antique. antique. So I'm yeah. actually doing antique blue. Um, let me just find my share screen to show you. Because remember, I'm down to working on it basically five pro well, five ish projects. So mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that this winter has an antique blue in it. And in fact, I'm actually yeah. updating the, the end. So yeah. I'm doing that antique blue. I've mm -hmm. actually done all of the end of it. So I've only got to do the WI and half the end. So Ooh. I'm actually going to be stitching on the antique blue part. You mm -hmm. got you got any? Well, if I go aqua or some variation of that, my stitching time has has a kind of there's there's, there's bits that are I, I'd have to look, but given that I'm doing the max color, um, I think I'd be fairly safe in <laughs> um, saying that that you know somewhere down here there's aqua. Oh yes, definitely aqua. Um, There's definitely aqua down the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yep. Somewhere oh. in, in in these books here, maybe maybe mm, yeah, maybe a little bit here. Yeah, little bit it's here. definitely it's, 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 yeah. definitely aqua. And, and as I said, I'm I'm doing the max color, so it's like three hundred and something colors. So yeah, I think you're pretty safe with that. I'd be able to find aqua in there somewhere, or or ancient something, antique, antique, antique. Yes. Um, okay, the next one is something that relates to humans. And as I said, I've already, I'm using this word for this one, which is arms. And yes. my Susanna's curtsy, she definitely has got arms. Yes. So it's another one I need to work on. So ankles. Ankles, ankles yep. Also work. Um, um, so, oh, no, Savannah's curtsy, you can't see her face. No, so it'd be arms. Yeah. Um, yeah. What else? I don't know what else to do with humans, but you could think of anything. Yeah. Um, the man-made, I'm actually going along with the word you said, antiques, and I'm using a stitch in time mm -hmm. for lots of antiques in there. Yes, yes. Um, you could actually also call a cupboard an armoire. You could have an armoire, yes. And I'm sticking with that piece again for my mode of travel for the air balloons. Oh, yes, yes, through the window, yes. There is air balloons in the window. Obviously an automobile, an aircraft, but oh, I don't have anything that has those on them, but I do have no. the air balloons in the stitch in yes. time. Yes. And if you, if you are doing this prompt and you are using the same piece for multiple sets, you just have to put your start and finish. Yeah, for each and, one. and have, have a, a decent, so I would say at least 100 stitches. Yeah, Because I've, yeah. I've done that before. I've used the same piece. Yeah. When, I went, when I was limiting myself to only three whips in a month, I would, I would well, not double dip. I would use the same oh. whip but do another chunk of stitches, which because I was concentrating on it for the month and so I was getting, you know, sort of 600 stitches on some of them and stuff, I could do that. Now, the next one is really easy for once. A season, starting with A. Autumn. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> yes. I finally got a real season. I didn't have to make one up. Um, yes. And so stitch in time. time. Just each, what, each row yep. is a different. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So we're pretty uh -huh. easy with that. Um, yeah. The holiday I've got is All Souls Day. Ah. Which I'm and going. The day after Halloween. Yes. Yes, which is Halloween, which for us is not in autumn. That's the day after. I think it's the day after Halloween. I think it's the 1st of November is All Souls. Yeah, I can still. So for the people who may not know my, my whips very well, uh -huh. this is my Halloween piece. And so I would I would tie that into my, my All yeah. Souls day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, you got anything for that? I don't, I, well, I don't have any Halloween-y pieces. Um, hmm. Is there a French national day starting with A? No, they have Bastille now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, thinking of other countries, Canada, no, they call it Canada. No, each country kind of calls it. Oh, hang on, Australia Day. Ooh, ooh. Australia Day, but have you got anything that fits in with Australia Day? Well, yes, I've got my, if I go back and do some more work on my um, <laughs> koala this corner. Yes, you yes. Can tell me that's not Australian. That's very Australian. You can definitely do that. There you go. 
Hey, we're well, helping you helping you get through lots this time. My little koala this corner with his with his gum leaves. Yep, he's very Australian. Yes. Lovely. I'm just getting my next one ready. Can't find it. There it is. Okay, my next one then. Now, as as usual, music and books and movies and TV shows. I usually don't go through them because they're so easy to find. Mm. But I actually did preparation this month because it's the 2nd of September and I've had time. So mm. I'm going to do A Tale of Two Cities as my book mm. and I'm going to use this mm. old-fashioned fairy tale town for oh. A Tale of Two Cities because it's the same era, of, you know, type of grand houses and stuff that you would see in A Tale of Two Cities. Yes, that could work. That could totally work. Yep. And for my TV or movie, I went mm. for arachnophobia because my house <laughs> has the spider webs. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Um, <laughs> my designer is not necessarily a designer, but I was going to leave it out, but then my pattern, of course, is the Amazing Animal Kingdom bookshelf, which yep. is an artwork by Amy Stewart. Yes. So I know the designer of the pattern is not, but the, but you often call a Hade by the name of the artist. Yes. yes. So it's worth me having a go. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Well, for me, the only pattern, well, no, I've got two actually. Yeah. I've got, well, no, oh. well would an antique vines count? Because technically yep. it's portrait of antique vines, but it's one of the words. I think so. Um, and then I've also got, and to all a good night. Yeah. The black so. one, which I didn't do very much on maybe oh, do, some. Do that. And I need to pick all the pink bricks and redo them. So maybe I should do that and redo them with my new colour to see if I'm happy with that. Yes, I think you should because then you know where you're mm. going going forward. Yes. Ah, uh, Advent could also work for a holiday. Yes, Advent would work. Christmas. Yes. Yep. Well done. Advent. Yes. There you go. Yes. So that gets Thank you done you for for mm-hmm. no stuff. Um, and then designer. Well, yeah, so I've got Amy Stewart as well. Um just gonna have a quick look at who the other designers I have are. There are lots of designers. Um Alessandra, Adelaide. Yes, I'm not doing any of hers at the moment, no. but I think I have several of her patterns. I just haven't haven't started any of them. Yeah. Um project info, that's the page I want. Let's see. Mm. Nope. Nope. That's nope. all right. So you no, been... the only one I've got would be yeah, Amy, Amy Stewart. All of my others are not A's. Okay. So um the next one that we like to talk about is Down Under Divas. Jenny doesn't necessarily do this because they're big stitches. One, so no, again, if, you, if you've got something that jumps out at you, um yep. feel free. Um, the first one is 2,000 stitches on something with a wall. Okay. Yes. I have a few that would fit that. Yep. I have my castle sampler because obviously it's got the castle walls. Yep. Share. Ooh, that's a good idea. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, hang on, click on the right. I want to share the right piece. So yes, so I have my castle sampler, which has walls. Yep. Um, but I've also got uh, strawberry mm. field has the brick wall at the bottom. It does. So you'll be fine for that. And two thousand stitches for you, Jenny. That would be a great month. Yep. I um. I'm disappointed because one of the pieces I'm meant to be meant to been working on for for three months it's was the only whip go that hadn't been called was my gingerbread manor, and then it finally got called in July, but I didn't uh, get to it. So I was holding okay. it over to August, and I didn't get to it. It's now been called for the third time in September, so okay. I've actually had three months in a row of it, and I cannot find it. Oh, I it somewhere I know I found it sometime, and it's it's yeah. somewhere. Yeah. But I, I looked today and I gave up. So it was going to be my wall because, oh, yeah. you know, um, but you just gave me the perfect idea. I've got to pick a new cell to work on 
and I'm doing the Frosted Pumpkin Castle Homecoming and it yes. has a big wall bridge yes. most thing. So um, that will be good, 2,000 stitches on that and won't get me caught up, but it will give me a chance to work on it. Yeah. yeah. Um, the next one I'm not going to be doing, and I don't think you will either, is 2,000 stitches in purple. I don't have anything in my current stitching that would have 2,000 stitches of purple, so I'll just pass on that one. I do own things with 2,000 stitches of purple, yeah. but you've got to actually stitch the 2,000 stitches in well, the Well, I could. Now, does it need to be just purple? Yeah. Well, no, I mean, as in if I'm doing tweeted, one strand blue, oh, one strand I think that would be fine. Purple. Yeah. Because um, so for this one, I'm uh -huh. currently working on this. Yep. And I'm on the outside bit, which is one strand dark blue, one strand purple. You could cope with that. That's the type of or purple. Or I could start another one that's different, all purple. Yeah, although the bottom one to me looks purple anyway, whereas opposed to the yep. top part, which is light, which is blue. This one, yeah, it could be a bit more pink. Yeah. You know, awesome. Yeah, I'm currently on this one at the bottom which yeah so it's not just purple but it is one strand blue one strand purple i think you'd probably get so away but i mean it is two thousand stitches so yeah 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 i think i'm, I'm just showing on these and no, so that's something people may not have thought of and that if you're doing a tweeted thing yeah it's still purple there's it's one strand purple. that's still purple yep i agree mm -hmm. um the next one is a boat or a cup hmm so while you're thinking, I have this covered because yeah. there is a rowboat just there in my fairy tale village. And again, oh, yeah. um, okay. I like being out, and this is a thousand stitches. So um, to double dip this one is it's a piece that I need to do to finish my Olympics for daily 30. So I want to double dip it. And I need to do 1,200 stitches on it for, to finish it for the Olympics. So there's my 1,000 stitches done. And it gets yeah. my, my Olympics done as well by finishing that. No, that's a vase, not a cup. Um, well, there might be in stitching time. Well, there's glasses. So that's a cup. There's a wine yeah. glass next to the wine bottle. Yeah. And there's potentially in the in my castle one. I'm not quite sure. I'd have to have a look at the the actual the, the proper cover picture. Whether oh. the Lord what so the lady is stitching. She she's got an embroidery hoop. I'm not quite sure what the Lord is holding. He it could be a cup, but I can't like when I zoom in, it goes too blurry on this, so I'm not yeah, sure. I know it's hard to look. But if you look, and what you do to show that to the to people judging is that if you find a good picture and you zoom in, screenshot it on the zoom. Yeah. It so that they can actually see that it is there yes um the next one i don't have it's a thousand stitches on a bike a phone or alien <laughs> i had just scrolled all the way to the bottom of my whip my my whip list um i don't know i would say technically does yoda count as an alien yeah, I would I would pay Yoda. Yep. How, how many stitches? A thousand. Well, a thousand could get him pretty close to being done because I did do a lot of work on him. So I've sort of done like most of it this side of him. I, I need to do one ear and a bit of his forehead. So I, yeah, if if he counts as an alien, then I would count works. I would count it Yoda. He's, he's not from Earth. I think so. he's an alien. I think he's an alien. So I think that works. Well, well done. You've got that. Um, it's only because I'd scrolled that far down in my whip list and went, oh, and you say alien and, and Yoda appears on my screen. It's like, okay, that works. Ask and it shall appear. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. um, all right, the next one is to do, um, because this is the night, we're dancing in the 1980s, and one of the big events in the 1980s was the disappearance of baby Azalea from, from Azaria from Ayers Rock. And yes. The dingo ate my baby. Yeah. Um, so you have to do a 1,000 stitches. <laughs> the biggest option I could do it was either had a tent or a dingo, but it did have in brackets dog. And so I 
I chose to do um, my thousand stitches on a stitch in time because if I can get it up far enough and show you there is a dingo colored dog. It's not uh -huh. a dingo, it's a golden retriever or something down here or a Labrador or something. Labrador down there. But there's it's definitely a dog there and there's a dog there. So there's dogs in a stitch in time that yeah. at least one of them is dingo colored. Do you yeah. have a tent? I don't. Not started. No. Not 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 yet. I, I have a piece that is in the shape of a tent. Well, I haven't started it but will be. I might have a tent because I've got to start working on my model stitches for my ornaments. And Santa was sitting in a camping chair last year. So maybe he could be in a tent this year. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, a rock. The only thing I have that, that was sort of close was um, the, the lion is kind of dingo coloured, but he's a lion, not a dog. Yeah, no. No. Um, um something with a rock. Well, the castle is sitting on a big rock outcropping, so that's probably yeah. the closest I've got. And I've got rocks. Hello, Dudley. I've got rocks on Amazing Animal Kingdom. Um, all right, something that relates to a video game. Yoda is probably the closest I can get to that. I don't think I don't think I have anything else that would be remotely <laughs> video gamey. Well, it's quite funny because you can you can get around that quite well if you think outside the square. Yes. Okay. So I I don't know if it still still exists, but there used to be a game where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Yeah. And you had to travel around the world and and follow the clues. Paris. So any of my travel pieces. Yeah. So my my two Paris pieces could work well, for that one. Well, I'm. This is the other full coverage that I need to do some work on. Train of Dreams. Oh. And he's driving an old-fashioned train, and that reminds me of the the train, um, you know, the train simulator video games. So. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Being a bossy girl. Um. Okay. The next one is something with a window. So I'm going to use the same one because there's windows on those trains. Yes. Well, I have several with windows because I'm doing several houses. Yes, so surprise, that's nice too. Surprise. So I've got um, um, Strawberry Fields has a house with windows. Um, uh, the castle has windows. Little House Neighbourhood has windows. Yeah. Windows um, are easy. I want to, if I want to double dip with, with Sampler September, if I do my Quaker, the Verbena family Quaker, that's got windows. Yeah, so w Windows is easy. Yeah, well, you do want to double dip because the whole point is you do these different events and you use the same stitches across the different, you know, brands. Um, yeah. And these are 500 stitches, by the way, from the rock onwards. Okay. Uh, all right, the next one is a specific one. You've got to stitch on an item that starts with the letters HTTP for the invention of the internet. So HTTP and I actually can do it because my Halloween has the word Halloween and that's pretty much where I'm up to in my stitching. Okay. So I will actually work on probably the H of the Halloween. Okay. Well, what do you reckon about this, at least for the beginning of it? So H for hedgehog. Um, T for one of these is Tom Kitten. Yep. Um, one is the tailor. Yeah. And then P for pussycat. I could all do right, all only four in the one. You only have to stitch on one of them. So you just have to make sure you stitch on oh, one. Of those. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you only need oh, one. Okay. But oh, you have to you stitch that, that, on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Well, that would work because in this particular piece, I've done the middle ring and I've started on Mrs. Tiggy Winkle's head. So there you go. You so I could hedgehog on Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. She would fit for T for Tiggy Winkle or H for hedgehog. There you go. Beautiful. <laughs> awesome. Okay. The next one is a piece. Hmm. I've lost my <laughs> my pictures are gone. Um, a piece that you can relate to eighties fashion. <laughs> Ooh. Now I can I can actually do this. Oh yeah. 
So, okay, there we go. My Savannah's curtsy mm. is wearing a very 1980s ball gown with all the bows and the flouncy and the big and poofy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Was, was the 80s kind of the age of pastels? Yep. Okay, well, then I can do it too. Pastels and floral. Yep. If I do my um my little uh, the the poppies tuffet thing, this corner, um that could potentially pastels and 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 the floral bit I think it could fit looks, with with eighties. Very late eighties. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yep. I I'm sure we had dresses that looked like that when we were growing up. Um, yeah. 80s is also very well known in for fact, its pluro. In the 80s, yeah, well, in the 80s, I, I turned 12 and I had a pink party. There you go. As you were. Birthday and everyone wore different shades of pink. Well, there you go. So, um, and the last one <laughs> is something to relate to Michael Jackson or Thriller, which is perfect for people with their Halloween pieces. Halloween. I'm going to use Halloween. Yes. I don't think you have anything Michael Jackson or Thriller, but you could. You, I'm sure he probably filmed something on the on the Eiffel Tower at some stage. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, did he have a pet tiger? I know he had Bubbles the chimp. The chimp. But he had he had a bit of a zoo. So yeah. Anyway, yeah. you could probably work on that. Okay. Have to do a bit more investigation. Yeah, do some research. One. I mean, you're not going to get them all yeah. done anyway, so it doesn't matter. So that's down on a David's monthly. And then remember, that's for um, big stitches. Um, yeah, so my whip goes this month were a stitch in time and gingerbread cottage. But I still have to do two more lots of gingerbread cottage and a train of dreams. Um, yeah. For my Olympics, I've got to finish at, oh, 1,000 on Animal Kingdom, 1,150 on Savannah and 1,200 on Fairytale Town. So I'm, I'm trying to tie all that in to cross-check so I don't have to double up. Yes, yes. Yes. Um, Semi-sane stitches have got um, this or that, art or science. So would you pick mm -hmm. art or science? Um. Looking at my pieces, I probably have to say art. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm um, with art. What's, what's yeah. Stitch in time and art jumps to my mind. Yes, yes, or or potentially um, my um, Peaceable Kingdom, the, the lion one, the, the way that it's got the border and stuff. Yeah, the it's, it's quite reminiscent of the painting. Yeah. And yeah. also the layer of the, the layering because the, the trees in the background are only half crosses to make them sort of fade into the background a bit. It is more that sort of multidimensional like like you get with paintings. So that yeah. would probably be what I would pick. Um yeah. they're also doing go stitch, which I like to do each year. And so each day right. at about 1 a.m. our time, um, at the end of the day, <laughs> like as in our days already passed because we're in Australia, they roll the they do a spinner yeah. wheel and the first letter was letter I. So I'm going to be working on my winter tonight, so I'll do I for ice as well as his I in winter. Um, yep, yep. Okay, so. so just backtracking, backtracking a second um, for the Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. if I can spell the word Michael. So I've got M-I, so M-I in mistletoe, C in stocking, H up here in hang, Um a down, e, the, down the bottom and L. Red. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got all the letters of Michael. I don't have all the letters of Jackson, but I have all the letters of Michael. I if think I was desperate. Look, I, I think you could try that definitely. Um yeah. there's probably some music video where he gave a present to someone or it was Christmas. Or did he do any Christmas ones? Um, yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd have to do a bit more research on that one but to, to that, see I reckon how I could relate. Yeah. Yeah, that'd yeah. be good. Okay, yep. so we're not going to go through these in great detail, but the last one is the Daily 30. It's the acrostic. Yep. Just if something jumps right out at you, the words are mm -hmm. school days because in America they go back to school. So I've got yes. F, stitch in time, so do you. Yep. C, I was going to use a candle in winter. 
-hmm. I have my castle sampler. Yep. Um, H, Halloween. Um, well, deck the halls, that one I just showed you. Yep. Yep. Um, Plus, you've got oh. deck halls, you've got a whole bunch of letters. So you could use that for lots of these yes. because if it's got the letter in yeah. it, yeah. it counts. Um, o, I've got old time wagons. Yes. Um, um, um. I'd have to pick something because none of the none of the titles would work. Um, oh, what have I got? I'm just going to make it big, show people because they haven't seen this one for a while. There's one of the five left that I have to work finish. Ah, uh, yes. Old Time Wagons by Charles Wasaki. Mm -hmm. um, well, again, I've got I've got several with words in them, so yep. I could use that. But I wanted a specific. Well, there's another O as well because it's school. So I, my second yeah. O, you can't use the same one. I would actually use the uh -huh. O in Halloween plus Halloween goes boo, boo or something. There's lots of there's lots of O's in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. L. I'm going for lolly. Lion. Yeah, lion. I'm going ah, for lollies. Lion. Lion or lamb. I've got yep. both. Well, lollies is the Australian one. Candy. So Halloween yes. has lollies yes. in it. Um, ah, actually, that's, that's one thing, just a quick, um, we forgot our, our Aussie word in our last video. So we'll I know. at the end of this. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, that's probably our Aussie word is lollies, means candy. Well, yeah, which is appropriate for Halloween, although it's September now, not October yet, but whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Um, D, yeah. I've got dogs and dresses. Yes. Um. What have I got for D? Well, I've got dresses in my cross stitch nation. Um, dress in in oh, there's there's lots of dresses as well. Doors on any of my house house oh, yeah. pieces. Yeah. Doors. Yep. All right. Um, if I wanted to, my. My my uh, family Quaker, some of the Quaker motifs you could say were doilies. Doilies. It's a bit fancy. Well, I think uh -oh. you can fit lots in there. That's good. I'm going to, for the A, I'm going to do an exact double dip with the arms that we talked about earlier. Yep. Um, why? I have got the word buggy, B-U-G-G-Y, in old time wagons, so the actual letter Y. Uh, yes. I have you up. Yep. And S, I'm doing my stitch count cell for the second one. Well, I could, um, I'm I'm thinking, so one of the things I have planned for September, um, because I had declared at the beginning of the year that I was going to do it, is to start my Sarah Germani. So S for Sarah, but also I'm yep. doing spring. Ah, and it's so. a cell. Yeah, well, Yes. Just because you guys have all been working on it all year, um, I have the material. I, I probably, I probably have all the floss. I just need to find pull it. it out and put it all in one. Well, pattern. there you go. Um, I'm just having a quick look at the things. I've got, um, I've got sheep in that one as well, just to add to the whole S thing. Um, A for animals. We were talking about A before. There's animals. There's sheep That's and goats. That works. I should share it just because you should, because then we can look at it. And I haven't started it. yet. Uh, and it's well, that's give you the motivation to start it, Jen. It's just so pretty. It is pretty. I love that. Well, looking at it now, the the blue of this water down here does stand out a bit. It doesn't quite fit in with the rest of it. Yeah, it's like they sort of need. You need to make one of the houses up the top right blue. Oh, yeah, yeah, up here. Because, yes, the, these yeah. two are much the same. Now, that one needs to stay red because that looks like a barn. Well, the even just a little just alcove. Or you can make the little annex on the front one blue. Yeah, yeah. Because that would tie in with yeah, the blue. Or, or just, just a, 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 a dress, tad, yeah. maybe a dress or something. Yeah, it just, just needs a little bit. Just needs something. It, it needs something to balance. Yes, yeah. I agree. All right, there you yeah. go. Well, that's lovely, Jenny. I look yeah. forward to starting that. 
Um, okay, so that's the end of the challenges, people. Um, so Jenny didn't have a lot of stitching. My stitching for the month was I'll show you next month. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Show us the month. We'll finish off with our our, our totals. Mine was only about 200. It was it was pathetic. But I did have a very busy month with all sorts of other things. New job, getting a handle on that. Um, yep. Cover camp last birthday. weekend. My birthday, big birthday weekend. So, yep. yeah, so I had a lot of other stuff going on. And the cub camp, that involved some extra evening meetings. And, you know, yeah, I, I just, I, I didn't have time. And, and even at some points, I didn't have the brain capacity. Like yep. the new job was... It's 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 intense, and so I get to the end of the day, and it's like I'm too tired and brain dead to think about stitching because I I do stuff, and then I'd have to unpick it, and I don't want to do that. So yeah, All right. So we found but, it. Uh, I've been there for a month now, so in theory, I've done one of everything pretty much. So yeah. I can uh, concentrate on 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 getting my the other parts of my life back. Yeah. Okay, so my, my stitch count was only 11,960, which for me is way down. It's low for you, yeah. yeah. It's very low for me. My weeks were between um, 1,100 and 2,900. So, yeah, not. Ooh, yeah. But yeah. I did get one, two, three, four finishes. Um, yes. So, and with the one oh, that I just. They were all ones on your list. Yep. So I've now finished one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, I think I've finished twelve from my list, and I've nine yep. nine models so far. So I've up to twenty three finishes so far this year, with some more. Wow. To go. How many more do you need to get to to get to down to your fifty? Okay. So off the original list, I've got it. I finished reading. Um, which we saw earlier in this video. Yes, I saw that one. But yes. now I've started yes. quilting and I've got to do baking as well. So because I'm doing the four on one. Okay, that was a, yeah. So I have yeah. finished, you know, my goal was reading, but I sort of need to do the other yeah. two so to get rid of it all together. Okay. Um, okay, okay. Savannah's Curtsy, Old okay. Time Wagons, Winter by Cricket, Cricket Collection and Halloween. So I have five more to go, those five. Ooh. But... But but I did start the two other cells, so uh, I yeah. pretty much need okay. to get them done too. So seven. Um, mm -hmm. But as I said, well, if I, that's, that's there's still a few months to go. One a month. Yeah, yeah. and if I can yeah. get through my um my Olympics pieces, I've just got to do. They're all they're all scheduled for this month. Um, as I said, if I do all that. It's only three I have to do, and they've all I tied them into doing things, so that will knock it all over. All right, yeah, guys. Yeah. Well, we will be back with you sometime, and until then, thanks for joining me, Jenny. <laughs> Hopefully, this was helpful That's for right. you, and we will That's enjoy this for a change. Yeah, it's good. Well, you'll have to get you doing it more often now that you're currently working from home and can actually make it. All right, we'll see you. Happy stitching, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you.